The Philippine Army says it has so far killed more than 30 militants linked to so-called Islamic State as fighting continues for a third day in the southern island of Mindanao. The island's been under martial law since Tuesday, and thousands of the residents in a besieged city have been evacuated. Noadam reports. The fighting started Tuesday when the Philippine army tried to raid the house of Isnilon Hapulon, leader of the extremist group Abu Sayyaf. However, the troops' failed attempt to capture Hapulon, who was on the FBI's most wanted list, set off a violent backlash as a militant group known as the Mauti started firing back. The chaos prompted President Rodrigo Duterte to declare martial law in the country's second largest island, and he is now considering expanding it nationwide. Helicopters and special forces were mobilized to flush out extremist rebels in the besieged city of Marawi, where both the Mauti and followers of Hapilon burned down several buildings and took churchgoers hostage to be used as human shields. Both groups have pledged allegiance to the so-called Islamic State, which claimed responsibility late on Wednesday for Mauti's activities via its AMAC news agency. The White House condemned the Mauti group as cowardly terrorists and said the United States was a proud ally of the Philippines and backed its fight against extremism. Military leaders say about 15 security forces and just over 30 militants have died so far in the urban fighting which has prompted most of the 200,000 Marari residents to flee the city. Meanwhile, due to the ongoing conflict, Seoul's foreign ministry has issued a travel warning to Mindanao, urging Koreans to reschedule or cancel any planned trips to the region. Noaram Arirang News.